AFK Fishing's great for early game. You can get yourself a ton of XP and enchanted books and other resources. But you know, there comes a point when you've got so many enchanted books and so many bows and so many fishing rods. And, oh, not to mention all the fish that uh, sorting out all these chests actually becomes a bit of a nuisance. See, I might want to AFK fish overnight, put a mending tool in my offhand and have it repaired. But I can't be bothered going through five or six chests worth of junk and throwing it all out because I don't need it anymore. So you could rig up something like this. I've just got all the chests leading into one another and this hopper down below here is locked by this repeater. So everything's staying in there but once I've taken out everything I want to keep I can just push a button and everything will be dispensed, thrown away and once it's all empty this hopper will lock again. But when you think about how many fish, stacks and stacks of fish you got in here, You'll push the button and that'll be running forever. So can we make this even better? So I've brought you here to see this bad boy. Now it looks like a mess of redstone but it's not very complicated and it actually looks pretty good. Pretty good that is once you've got all the redstone covered up. Don't mind the dirt up the back, this is still a bit of a construction site. Uh, but we've got all the chests up here containing our items, and it looks pretty sleek, I think. And we only need three chests, because this redstone will get rid of uh, most of the items that we no longer want. And this is especially good for a, a community AFK area. See, this is my slime farm that I'm building at the moment. And the last thing you want to do is to come in here to do some AFK fishing, well, you get some slime balls and the last person hasn't emptied the chests. So you'd push the button to empty all the chests and be sitting here forever. But this design only keeps four kinds of items. So it'll keep the enchanted books, of course. That's what we want. And we pretty much want to get rid of everything else. It, uh, it will keep the saddles. We can't help that. And it will keep the leather boots. And I could have stopped there with uh, three items, but we'll also get a little bit of cooked fish out of this. You can keep it or not keep it. That's up to you. So a brief rundown of how this contraption works. Uh, I've got an item sorter that will detect any item with a signal strength greater than one. So that's all your books, your fishing rods, water bottles, stuff like that. And it will send them down the hopper chain to be kept. Then we get to... This thing, the brewing stand, so it will take any water bottles out of the system and send them off to be destroyed. Next, we get to a furnace. You see, fishing rods and bows can be used as fuel. So all the bows and rods will go into the furnace and they'll get burnt away. And what are we smelting? Well, we're smelting the fish. So some of the fish will be recycled, put through the smelter, and any that are cooked, and it won't be too many, but any that are cooked will be kept in our storage system here. So all we're left with is a little bit of fish, our books, and until we can train zombie pigmen to rummage through our chests and get rid of saddles and leather boots, we are stuck with them. So I'll put a world download in the description so you can check this out for yourself, and I'll quickly demonstrate that it actually does work so you know I'm not telling a lie. So we'll throw an enchanted book in there. We just caught it. It won't show up in the chest straight away. It'll get stuck in one of these hoppers down here somewhere. Yep, there it is. But it'll make its way through the system in a moment. But if we throw in, we'll try a fish and we'll go a water bottle. So the water bottle will go into there and yep, there it is, been destroyed. And our book has probably arrived. Yes, there it is. Whereas something like a fishing rod, if we look at our furnace, where's the front of the furnace? There it is. It's cooking away there, so that'll disappear and we'll, as soon as that's done, we'll get a little bit of cooked fish into our chest. There it is. So we'll get going with the tutorial and first we're going to build an AFK fisher. This is the design that I use. I got this from a tutorial by Exumavoid. Uh, he didn't invent it. Uh, we're not sure who invented it really, but um, 
I'll put the link to Exemvoid's tutorial in the description and I'll quickly show you how to build it now because it needs to be set up in the way that I have it here. So this orange block is where we're going to be standing when we're doing our AFK fishing. So you can put a block right in front of it with a slab on top, then come around behind, place two temporary blocks, delete that one, place a hopper leading into that temporary block, and then you can delete it. Then on the side of the hopper, place a temporary block there, block on top, another temporary block, block on top, then delete those two, and we'll do the same on this side, temporary block, block on top, temporary block, block on top, delete the bottom one, then against this one we're going to place one, two, three blocks, and then two right there, and you can delete that temporary block. Then two more temporary blocks right there, blocks behind them, delete those two, and we'll grab some tripwire hooks, place one there, and one there, and connect them with a piece of string. Now swing around to this side here, and against the side of this block, I want you to place an iron trapdoor right there, and below the iron trapdoor, we'll place another block. Then against the side of this iron trapdoor, we'll place a note block. And to stop it making any noise, we'll place a slab on top. Now for the redstone, we'll grab a repeater, place it right there on a two tick delay, three dust, swing around, and a repeater into that block, also on a two tick delay. Uh, this is the timing I find works best for me, but if you're playing on a server, you can fiddle around with this and extend the delays and find which works best for you. Uh, the last thing to do is to place your bucket of water on top of that hopper there, uh, but I recommend doing that last in case you accidentally break a block and water washes all over your redstone. So come down to this block right here and we'll place a temporary block underneath then go underneath it and place a dropper like so, and you can delete that block. And then swing around to the back of the dropper, place a hopper leading into the side of it, then a hopper facing straight down into that one, and then a hopper leading into that one facing straight down. Then underneath this dropper, we're going to place another temporary block, then the same thing again, another dropper facing straight down, and you can delete that one, then we'll connect these two with a hopper. So any item coming down here into this dropper is going to be destroyed. So once you place a block underneath that dropper, come out two toward the front of the AFK fissure and two on this side, and then we'll fill those in. Then I want you to place a block there and a block there, and you can delete that block underneath and that one and the one underneath the dropper, delete that too. Then grab yourself a comparator, place it leading into that block, then a repeater leading from this block into the other one, and a repeater leading into the comparator, and we'll put dust there, there, and there. Now you could dispense the items into lava to destroy them, uh, but then you have to listen to the lava, so we're going to use a cactus. So come underneath the dropper, and we're going to place four temporary blocks straight down, and then a permanent block as your fifth one, and delete those four, then place a piece of sand on top of that, and a cactus on top of that, and we'll build a funnel for that a little bit later. So now we're going to build the bit that separates the items with a signal strength of 1 from the items with a signal strength greater than 1, and don't mind if I keep looking over there to remember how to build it. So come along behind your note block here, and I want you to place a block against the side of that hopper right there. You can then place a temporary block underneath, a block there, temporary block there, block on top, block below, and a block there, and delete those two. Then we're going to place another temporary block right there, then come underneath it and place an observer block like so, and then another block on this side, and delete that block. Now we're going to place a comparator right there, leading in that direction, dust there and there, then grab a repeater, place it on the observer block's face, leading in that direction, and then a torch right there. Then I want you to place a temporary block right there, and underneath it place a half slab, then delete the temporary block, and put a piece of dust right there. So grab yourself a hopper and lead it into the side of that piece of dust. It's a little bit tricky to get, but it will be leading like so. 
So any item that travels into this hopper up the top here that puts out a signal strength greater than one is going to send the signal through and this hopper underneath is going to unlock. So all your books and stuff like that are going to come down through this hopper. So grab yourself a brewing stand and against the side of this hopper here, place it right there. We're going to build the system that filters out our water bottles. So you can grab yourself a hopper and put it facing into the side of that brewing stand right below this hopper here. Then come underneath your observer block, place a temporary block there, block underneath, delete that one, place another block right there, then we'll grab a piece of dust, place it there, repeater in that direction. That repeater is going to lead into a block and before I forget, put this repeater on maximum delay and we'll put a torch on top of that block, then grab yourself a half slab, place it right there with a piece of dust on it, and then you can place a hopper leading into the side of that piece of dust. So this works much in the same way as one of those multi-item per chest item sorters, where you keep an item in every slot of the chest. Uh, the item is going to be held up in this hopper long enough to give it a chance to go into the brewing stand, but if it's not a water bottle, after a delay, the hopper underneath is going to unlock and it will continue down. So that's our water bottles out of the way. Now we're going to do our rods and uh, bows that are going to go into the furnace. So underneath this hopper, I want you to place a temporary block. And on the other side, we're going to place a furnace. It doesn't matter which direction it faces. Uh, but we're going to place it on the side of that temporary block. And then underneath the furnace, place another block. And we'll go back to this side. Place a hopper leading into that and you can delete both of those temporary blocks. You can then place a hopper leading into the side of that furnace. Then come along to this block with the repeater on it. Place a block there, a block on top, then underneath, temporary block, a block there. Delete that one and a block right there. Then you can place a piece of dust there, one there. Grab two repeaters, face them in that direction. Leave one on the one tick delay. Put the other one on maximum delay, and then, then this last repeater is going to run into a block. So we've now got our rods and bows leading into this furnace, but they're not going to be destroyed unless we've got something to cook. So we're going to divert some of the fish that we're catching into this furnace. So come along to this slab right here with a piece of dust on it and place a block right there. Then come underneath this block, place a temporary block there, a block on this side, delete that one, and we'll place a comparator facing in that direction. That comparator is going to lead into a block. Then we're going to place three more blocks, one there, one there, and one here, with redstone dust on all of them, and a torch right there. Then grab two hoppers, place one facing straight down into that furnace, and the other one facing into that block. Now inside of this hopper that's leading into that block, we're going to put some items. This is going to be our item sorter. So in the back four slots of the hopper, I want you to place a block that's never going to go into uh, this AFK fissure. Then grab a stack of raw fish and put them in the first slot. And they will filter down into our furnace until there's 41 left right there. And do put a stack in there to start with because you want to have a few fish ready to go if uh, the first thing you catch is a bow you want it to cook away straight away the very last thing to do before we've got our entire filtering system done is underneath this brewing stand place a hopper leading into that dropper so any water bottles will be dropped onto the cactus so now anything that's coming into this hopper down the bottom here is stuff we want to keep so we're going to send it back up in an item elevator up to our chests that we're going to build. So come along underneath your furnace and we're going to place three temporary blocks, one directly underneath and then two more in this direction. And then against the side of that block, we're going to place a dropper facing straight up. You can then delete those temporary blocks and we're going to put a hopper chain right where they were. So one, two, three, leading to this dropper. And this will also collect all your cooked fish out of the furnace. So underneath this dropper, I want you to place a block right there. Then we'll come out two blocks toward the back, two toward the side, and then fill those in. And we're going to place a block there and a block there and delete that one, delete that one, and you can delete the one underneath the dropper as well. 
Then we're going to place a comparator coming from the dropper leading into that block. A repeater right there. Swing around to this side, a repeater leading into the dropper and place dust there, there and there. So now we're going to build the storage for the items that we do want to keep. So come up to the top here where your AFK Fisher is. Place a chest on the side of that block with another chest right beside it. Make it a double chest. Then put a hopper leading into the side of that chest. Then we'll place a chest on top of the hopper. Another one right there. Make it a double. And we're going to do the same again. Hopper into the side. Chest there. Chest there. And come around to the back of this top chest and right above where the hopper is we're in place two more hoppers leading into the chest like so. Now we're going to build our glass item elevator to send the items from this dropper up to that hopper over there. So you can come along on top of the dropper, place a piece of glass right there. Now this block right here, I want you to place a solid block right there, not a piece of glass. But after that you can form a ring around that bit of glass. So we've got a 3x3 three three area and we're just going to build this with glass all the way up. And when you get to the hoppers up the top here, just build the glass around the hoppers and then we'll do one more layer right across the top, like so. And we are almost done, uh, but what we want to do is when we have our few items here that the fishers actually kept, uh, if we don't want them we search through them like, oh all those books are rubbish. We just want to push a button and have them all go away. So I want you to come underneath this chest and place a hopper underneath like so, leading into that dropper there, and that will connect it to our destruction system down there. Uh, but we want to keep this hopper locked. So underneath this chest, right next to the hopper, I want you to place a block, and then we'll place a block right here as well with a comparator right there. So that comparator is going to read that hopper through the block. Uh, that comparator is going to run into a redstone lamp and we'll put a button on it. On the side of this redstone lamp I want you to place a redstone torch and then, then we're going to place a block there and one there with a piece of dust right there and a repeater leading in that direction and that repeater is going to lead into a block. So after your AFK fishing session when you've gone through your books and decided what you want to keep and what you don't, bane of arthropods, yuck! Uh, you can just push the button and when that lamp is on, the books are being destroyed. Once it's off, everything has vanished. So the last thing to do, as you can see, a book has missed the cactus there. We're just going to build a little tube down here so they all land on the cactus. And I'm going to use glass, but you don't have to. You can use whatever block you want. And there we go. All done. And that is your AFK Fisher sorting system complete. Uh, the only other thing to do is just some aesthetic stuff. You build your floor where you're going to stand. Uh, you've got a little bit of redstone right here, but what you can do is put carpet on top of those so you're not going to see them. You will see some particle effects from the redstone torch coming up through that bit of carpet, but that's okay. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And I know this is a massive item sorter just for an AFK Fisher, but this isn't something you build uh, because it's practical. It will be helpful, but it's something you build as a project and because it's a lot of fun. So leave a like, guys, if you enjoyed my monstrous contraption here. Uh, until next time, I'm Cortez Reno. See you later.